Hello and welcome to Beardier, the German engineer. Today, we are back with Cities Skylines, and this is the 1000 subscriber special. I can barely believe it that we have actually reached 1000 subscribers. Thank you guys very, very much. This has been so far an insane journey, and I cannot wait to see where we go from here. So I figured, what could we do after reaching this crazy, crazy milestone? So I came up with something. Look at this. If I head into a new game, I found a map called Megadam. And I think we're going to jump right into there and we will build the biggest dam you have ever seen. We will come up with a little bit of a city. I will also do a Q&A while doing all of the above. And then we're going to flood the living crap out of whatever the hell we were building. How does that sound? <laughs> well, let's jump right into that. See how that works out for us. All right, and here we are. This is the map we are working with. So let me zoom out a little bit. Yeah, that's right there. That is where our dam is going to go. So I have unlimited money. I have all the mods enabled to basically allow us to do whatever the hell we want. Not a serious video, so no need to worry about money and income and any sort of that. All we need to do is to build a huge, massive dam. Kind of like that. And all this area here in the back is going to completely fill itself with water. Meanwhile, somewhere down here, we're going to build some sort of city. And as soon as this is filled up, we're just going to flood the living crap out of the city. So let me build a little bit of infrastructure right here. And then I will come back, show you where we stand. And then we will get started with the Q&A. Alright, and here we are. I built some very basic layout, just good enough so we can slap something in there. I built some power, I built some water, some sewage. And that's it. From this point on forward, we can just open it up, make sure that we have some people moving in here. So we're just gonna fill up this whole entire area here on the left. Once again, it's not beautiful, but it's functional. It should fill up a city really quickly and grow it hopefully to, I don't know, 15,000, 20,000, something like that. In basically no time. So yeah, we are just going to fill the living crap out of that thing here. All right, very good. So I filled in all of our zones. I put in some utilities. Well, all the utilities to be precise. <laughs> There's basically nothing left. I think the only thing I ever got is a crematorium or a seven. Uh, let's put a couple of those in there. Let's make sure that we can get rid of dead people. We will have a bunch of them here pretty soon. Not sure if a crematorium or two is going to help for that, but yeah, we will see how that works out. Top of that, I built a train station down here for cargo as well as for people to make sure that we are encouraging growth as much as possible. And since we have unlimited money, of course, this whole entire city is absolutely tax free. Ah, uh, it's going to be glorious. They have literally everything they can ask for and more. They just need to move in. That's all we're waiting for. That should be going pretty quick though. Let's see our dam filling up. Let's take a look around here. Uh, looks like it. We have two water sources in here. One here and one here. And it's basically just going to fill up this whole entire area here. I think we have another water source somewhere. Here in the middle or something. Yes, right there. So this is actually driving this river. So this river here is actually not being fed by the dam. It will be later on, or at least it will increase. But yeah, we have our own water source for that as well. So yeah, it's going to be good. Um, obviously, this is not how I would build a city. Uh, very simple grid layout because it's easy and fast to build. That's all it is about. While we're watching how our people are moving into our city, I will just show you the different overlays and answer the first question that I have actually gotten quite a lot, and that is, what kind of engineer am I? So I am a senior process engineer in the medical devices industry. My biggest project is a two part dry powder inhaler, uh, 23 injection molding machines, two fully automated assembly lines and cross technicians are under me. That is uh, what I do at my plant. Uh, currently, I'm also working for another automation project in a different department, but it's uh, yeah, that was just thrown at me basically on the sidelines. But yes, this dry powder inhaler is currently my number one project. 
nothing's more important than that we make about 40 million of those and it's for uh, diseases like copd for example if you've ever heard of that it's not like an inhaler to, uh, for asthma that you imagine it's um it has dry powder in it two different parts and you can basically mix and match it for different needs different customers or better to say different patients it's pretty fulfilling not gonna lie about it um i mean it does help people save people's lives or at the bare minimum improve the quality of life so yeah that is what i do for a living and uh on the side i make some youtube videos every once in a while <laughs> but that is about it over here on the right side we can build a few more roads in put in maybe some high density residential as well as commercial potentially even some office zones we're just gonna put a few roads in here something along these lines here again we are not building for efficiency or for beauty we're just trying to cram as many people in here as we can so we can kill them with a huge wave that is the uh, basic idea <laughs> i can't wait to see those kind of visuals i think the water physics in this game were always relatively good so yeah, I'm, I'm looking forward to actually seeing that happening. And see what it looks like when a massive wave is coming in our city. Yeah, again, it's not the most beautiful thing I've ever built. Nothing that I would ever build in a normal playthrough or whatever. Look at this insanity. But we are just going to fill it up over here with high density residential and see if we can maybe spawn some uh, high rises in here and we'll also slap in some high density commercial and maybe even some office buildings somewhere just so we have everything that anybody could potentially ask for and we have our first high rise right there wonderful that's what that should look like i'm gonna slap that stuff in here as well i'm gonna make this middle area here our commercial area that should work out just fine and meanwhile i could start answering another question and that question is from ender air cj ducks are cool on my discord and he's asking favorite color my favorite color is in fact red and i have another question coming out later that will elaborate slightly more why that is the case but well, currently we're building our office space here on the top ah uh, yeah they're probably the first they're gonna go, but can't win them all, can you? Have a nice cushy office job, working 9 to 5, then a big old flood comes. Yeah, that is, like I said, sometimes just how that goes. We have, where is that in here? We have a pumping service here. I'm wondering if we build a load of pumping services, can we hold off the flood? Can they pump it up before it reaches our city? So over here, on our roof, if you so want, just gonna build a few roads out, kind of like this. And I'm gonna fill all this area here up with pumping services. And when the flood comes, they should be the first and only line of defense. And hopefully, they can just vacuum up the flood. Well, I'm not sure if that is how that works. But I guess there's only one way to find out, isn't there? Trial and error. So let me plop all this in. That'll take a minute, oh god. All needs to be individually hooked up to water too. But we'll see how that works out. So this here is what that looks like when you build about 30, maybe? I haven't counted them off those pumping services. And all I gotta do now is hook them up to the water service. So let's do that. And now that it's all connected, that's what it looks like. So yeah, this here is our defense. They have like pump wagons in there, like, like trucks that are supposed to have a vacuum on it of some sort. And as soon as something floods, they're supposed to come out and vacuum it all up. So good luck, boys. It's all you. <laughs> okay. Let's see what's going on around town. We have 6,448 people moving in. Everybody seems to be quite happy. What do we have in here? Not enough educated workers. Well, that's probably because uh, the city is too young and they're not yet educated. That would be my assumption. Let's take a look. Where is our education? Right here. Yeah. 72% are still uneducated. 25% barely got out of elementary school. And we have about 3% that got out of high school. And 0% coming out of the universities. 
But at the bare minimum, we have enough capacity for all of them. That's good. Now, the only thing that I kind of forgot is that this side here probably also needs some of our schools, don't they? So let's give this area here also a couple of schools everywhere. That should be okay. A couple of these here should also not hurt. And a university or two for good measure. And that should make everybody happy. But yeah, other than that, all we can do is watch how our city grows. We have down here also our cargo terminal as well as our train station. Apparently nobody's coming from the train station though, which is okay. How is our dam doing? Dam's doing pretty good. It's already full basically. So it should basically start producing power any second now. And water should come out right off this outlet right here. And uh, flood this whole area right here. It's at the moment nice and green, but as soon as the water comes, it will turn a nasty brown. But I think it's time to answer the second question from my Discord channel, and that is from Magenta. What was your inspiration to becoming an engineer? Was there another career path you had in mind, but changed on later? Well, actually, yes, I had another career path in mind, but I was also a boy at the time. I always wanted to be what my dad is, and that is a uh, maintenance guy slash electrician. Uh, when I became of age to actually choose a job, he said, oh hell no, don't do that son. <laughs> I said, okay, so you don't want me to do what you do. What else do you want me to do then? And he said, why don't you go into processing, and then later on potentially into process engineering. You will have a job for the rest of your life, because it applies to so many fields in life. And yeah, that's how I ended up with... Uh, First processing in plastics and then later on process engineering. All thanks to my dad. The man was 100% uh, right. And while we're at it, we can just throw a few parks into our areas. That should increase the land value, make people even more happy. Just like that, yeah, something like that. That should be glorious. The land value should increase quite drastically doing this kind of thing. That is always good, makes everybody happy. So now you don't pay taxes and your houses are worth a shitload. What else could you possibly ask for? <laughs> Another question from my Discord is from Nated. What came first, the chicken or the egg? Well, you will get the scientific answer for that and that is absolutely the egg long before the first evolved chicken has walked on this earth. Probably a couple hundred million years, if not more. <laughs> there is your answer. Absolutely and most definitely, the egg came before the chicken. Another question from Nated is, what is your most favorite game you have ever played? Well, that will be something that does not fit to the content of my channel at all, and that is actually Call of Duty 2. Used to play that when I was still a kid in Germany. Well, not a kid, but a teenager probably. Going to LAN parties with my buddies, back when we still had big old CRT monitors, no flat screens of any sort, LCD wasn't even known yet, and we mainly played Call of Duty 2. I will never forget those days. That's what got me into gaming really hardcore in the first place. So yeah, there's your answer on that as well. And another one from Nated is, what have you wanted to do but haven't gotten the chance to do it yet? Uh, that would be skydiving. I really want to fling myself out of a plane. Don't ask me why. It's just something that I really want to do. <laughs> but I have not gotten around to do it yet. Eventually though, one day, it is definitely going to happen. So yeah, that is also that. And another question from Simon Sideburns. Do you like sport and what sport do you like? Who do you support? I do indeed like sport. I do like football. Not American football, but the normal kind of football, what the Americans would call soccer. We do have a fire here, though. What happened? Let's see. We probably need one of those towers or two, huh? Make sure we don't have freaking, freaking forest fire somewhere and we don't notice. And then we should probably place down a couple of those fire helicopter things here. Just in case something like that happens again, we can send out a crew of helicopters. There we go. If somebody destroys the city, it's gonna be me, not you, fire. <laughs> uh, but where did I stop? Oh yeah, who do you support? That's the question. So we established soccer slash football is definitely my favorite sport. My favorite team is of course the FC Bayern Munich. 
uh, FC Bayern München for Germans out there. Absolutely, that is my team. Munich is my hometown. There's no question about it. And their color is red, which is where my favorite color comes from. I've been a fan ever since I was a little boy. I have been all over Germany and Europe for this team when I was still living over in Europe. And uh, yeah, that is a love that will never die, that is for sure. But other than that, I don't really care about any other sports, to be quite honest. And I just slapped in a few more high-density residential areas because we had a high demand for people to move in, but we didn't have any more space for them. So yeah, that is not good. I really want to crank it up a few more people. Can we kill 15,000? That's the real question at this point. <laughs> oh god, what am I even saying? But that brings me to the next question, though. From the Shanty Man, what is your favorite German word? Oh god, that is a good question. That is a really good question. Probably one of the longer ones, just because people ask me so much. What is my? What is the? What is a weird German word? What is an extremely difficult and long German word? And um, my answer is usually Kraftfahrzeugshaftpflichtversicherung. <laughs> yes. I will put that on the screen right now and I'll say it one more time. <laughs> uh, once I stop laughing. Oh god. What a horrible word. It is Kraftfahrzeugshaftpflichtversicherung. So what does that mean? What would that be in English actually? It would be Motor Vehicle Liability Insurance. Yeah, that's what that would be. Uh, which is four words in English. <laughs> in Germany we just slapped them all four together and made one extremely long word out of it. It is, uh, yeah, that's the beauty and the insanity about the German language. You don't have a word for something? Ah, don't worry, son. We're just gonna slap 15 words together and make a new one out of it. It's gonna be great. What could possibly go wrong? That's basically what our entire language is built on. It's, it's glorious. It really is. And we're approaching the 15,000 mark. I think I will answer one more question, which is also the last one that I got for you today. Actually, I actually have two more. Wow. Uh, both of them are from Magenta. And Machenta is asking, what's your favorite American and favorite German dish? Uh, favorite American dish? That is a good question. It's probably... It's probably small, all varieties of fried chicken. That is just something that I am not used to in Germany. It's not something that is a normal thing to eat. Fried chicken in Germany. We usually roast our chickens or, or do one of a million other things with them. But frying is not that much a thing. But I'm a big fan of it over here. Probably the most unhealthy food you can possibly find. But I mean, I love it. What should I say? A favorite German dish though? Now we're getting into some really murky territory because there are just so, so many foods in Germany that I love. Might be standard old schnitzel. Might be uh, something like uh, currywurst. Currywurst is a variety of sausage with some curry sauce and usually served with fries. All sorts of Bavarian food, like some sort of pork roast kind of hard to describe in English exactly what it is or for example a Schweinshaxen which is a well roasted pork leg and you literally just take a knife and carve the meat off the bone it's glorious and the last question from Magenta is what is my favorite ice cream flavor and now here it's getting really boring though because my just standard favorite ice cream flavor is literally chocolate I just love chocolate ice cream always have nothing fancy just pure plain old chocolate Okay, so we've reached 15,000 and it is time to tear some shit up. So let me slow it down and then pause it completely and let's get rid of our dam. The moment of truth has come. The dam is gone. <laughs> the water does not know yet what has happened to it. That is another glorious picture actually. <laughs> and now it's time to turn time back on and go back to photo mode. The water should be flowing now it takes a second to it's like oh where did the dam go just like it would happen in real life if you just immediately let a dam disappear that is exactly what would happen yep that is right that's just how it goes that actually looks really good look at this that's actually great looking Good grief. What happened here in the middle, though? 
Did we create a tsunami? We in fact somehow created a tsunami that is running against the direction of the rest of our flow. I'm not sure how we accomplished that, but apparently it's a thing now. Cool. I'm not complaining. <laughs> but the masses are now hurtling towards our city. Okay, the moment of truth is upon us. Where are our vacuum trucks? They don't know yet what's coming. Where are you at? The first building is getting flooded right here, right now. Where are the vacuum trucks? They are doing exactly nothing. That is cool. Why are you doing nothing? Nope. Is that vacuum trucks right here? Oh, there's a garbage truck. That's not helpful. Uh, apparently our pumping service here does not care. And I am not entirely sure why. <laughs> what exactly did I do wrong? Oh no, there's a bison. Run, bison. Run. Oh god. I didn't consider the wildlife. Run. Where are you going? Yes. Yes, run. And the water masses are just tearing into our city. And our pumping service defense uh, is getting annihilated. No, they're actually... They did actually come out. But they didn't even make it to get out their water hoses. How unfortunate. Who could have seen it coming? <laughs> uh, and here... Turn the photo mode back on and watch the destruction as it happens. Everything is just raised completely to the ground. Oh my goodness. Chinggis Khan and the old hunts would be proud of what we are currently doing right now. I'm sure of it. Oh yeah, yeah. Build another building. That's right. Can you finish it? Nope, you didn't even finish it before the flood arrived. Well done, sir or madam. Great job. <laughs> we have all those, all those pump trucks in the air. It's glorious. And it's still just tearing through it. And the game is actually lagging. Every time it erases another line of buildings, <laughs> the game is lagging on a 3080. Good grief. That is insane. What's happening behind the big wave? So the wave is actually extremely big and long. But it, it has this entire span here. Quite fascinating. What's happening down here? Oh no! The scooter man is surfing. That's cool. People are running. Yeah, you can't outrun a tsunami. Let me tell you that much. <laughs> it's not happening. Look at this force. Ah, uh, it's glorious. A little bit of destruction never hurts, doesn't it? I turned up the speed all the way. But it's not going to help us a lot since it's lagging every few seconds. Every time and it, it raises another line of buildings. But there are not too many lines left, so the lagging should be over here in a second. <laughs> What's left in the back here? Absolutely nothing. The water has subsided. There is nothing left but rubble. That's how it goes, apparently. Yeah, straight in there and straight up into the wave. That's great. With full force. Yep, under 20 miles an hour, straight into the wave. What could possibly go wrong? I don't see a problem with that either. And our nuclear power plants. Are they going to blow up? Probably not, right? They're just going to get raised to the ground like everything else. Yo, I would have liked to see a little bit of an explosion, but can't have it all, I guess. So our population has officially reached a zero. And while we're at it, I figured we might as well. Where's the meteor? Let's plop a couple of meteors down here, huh? Let's see what that does to our wave. And a few of those things explode. Might as well. What do we have to lose at this point? Might as well set a fire over here. Why wouldn't we? Where are the meteors? Bring them on. Uh, I don't see any meteors. I see the fire burning. Maybe we can evaporate the water with enough fire. But I doubt it. And we have meteor impacts all over. Wonderful. I think that is a, a very good ending to the video. Once again, I thank you guys so much for your support. 1000 subs. I Once again, I can still not believe it. It's uh, quite crazy 
how fast we have gotten to this point. I have not expected this in any way, shape or form. And with this massive, massive explosion right here, I say thank you and peace.